Hello, it is 50 degrees and sunny on the first Sunday of February in Ohio, which means uh, time to work in my garage shop. Now, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of wood, a whole bunch of scraps and, and some good. So I decided to build those horizontal racks for my long wood. Instead of just standing it up, like I do with some of that stuff. I need to get up out of the way. I need to organize this a little better. I've got tons of scrap wood. I need to keep uh, working through. I also need a place to store the, the good hardware that I want and some other long stuff. So I made those. Now the first problem was in that corner was that cabinet. Okay, that's big, not a big deal. Pull it down. Then I just got to figure out a place to put it which I really don't have a place to put it because all my walls are taken, but that's another story. So here we go. I cut those um, supports. Now I cut them, basically they're three to four inches wide. They're different because it's all scrap. So some of my scrap was already three, some needed uh, ripped. So uh, three to four inches wide. And then I cut them 14 inches long I also put a two degree angle on them so they would slope back towards the wall a little bit. I thought that was smart. Uh, the front end is about an inch and a half and that back end, I mean that's a two by four for my garage so that's about four inches from there to there. So that tapers from an inch and a half out to four. I cut the taper on my bandsaw. It's a nice easy thing to do with the bandsaw. Um, so again, 14 inches long, two degree angle on that back side, um, three to four inches wide. Oh, that 14 inches long gets me about, you know, 10 inches of board support. Um, I didn't really know how long ago, so I went with that. And then, uh, clamp it to the, uh, two by four and pre-drill some screw holes and screw it in. I used three on most of them, a couple of them I used four, just I started off with four and said, gee, what am, I putting, what am I putting for? After I put the first one, which I started at one end, I put the first one in and then I used my level to figure out where to put the next one. Figuring out I wanted to keep it level. Instead of trying to measure down from the top and then things weren't possibly level in the garage or you know, odds like that, I knew they had to be level. So, that is what I made, and then I put a little shelf over here above my tires. Yes, I have two sets of tires. One's a winter set, one's a all, you know, year-round set. They're on separate rims, so easy to change. I put a shelf for my scrap hardwood. Because I was getting a lot of scrap hardwood. I still, I'm going to make something out of it. Put it together to do something. Blew it up, do something. Um, and we're just all scattered about. So that's where my scrap hardwood is going. Now I still got all this stuff on the floor. I had already made in the past to store scrap wood. I gotta start doing, I hate throwing things out, but maybe I might have to, but I really need to make things with it. The other thing I was thinking about was, you know, getting a bunch of clamps and you can never have too many clamps. But where to put the clamps is always a, a question. So I started to think that maybe I should take a little strip of something and hang it up underneath and therefore have a, a place to hang clamps. So that might be an idea that I'll work on in the future. Lots of things to do. Thanks. Bye.